In this video, I'll be continuing the Netland Icon Quest. Last time, all the tribes were getting attacked by the abyss at the same time. And now we're going to rescue... Rescue a caravan, or a sister caravan. Which is just outside of Netland. Just coming into Netland, I mean. Stay safe. We get to play Zinlin. Wait, this is Ola. This whole team is not my team at all. Tribes are also fighting. And you also get. I get Electro Traveler. Maybe that's just what my Traveler was. At the time, oh, am, I am I supposed to be attacking this thing in the middle? Wait, I'm actually low health. That's not good. I don't have any healers. In this team, oh no, Kachina. Okay, I'm destroying it. Okay, I got it. That was cool how my I, I really thought I was done for. That was cool how my whole team turned into trial characters. Because none of none of those characters were mine. Apart from maybe the Lumine. It's interesting how they did that. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine too. Guess the Abyss isn't after Mora. That should be the last Abyssal Pylon near the Children of Echoes. Phew, that was scary. But we did it. By the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. The Masters of the Night Wind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the ancient name later. <sighs> that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. Alright, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe! Is it still being attacked by the abyss? Those all the abyss enemies in the children echoes. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh, I should have got here sooner. Ugh, the abyss threw a lot at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm, and there were already so many monsters. Why is Mulani? Protecting the children of Echoes instead of the people of the Springs. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. 
Is the people of the springs not getting attacked? I wasn't in charge or anything. We just happened to be together. Still, I think this proves that camping in the wild was a great idea. That's how we were able to respond so fast. Sleeping on the wet grass was pretty uncomfortable, but it was worth it. I don't mean to be negative, but the situation is not looking good. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is wait. And we still don't know when the first, when the final two heroes are going to appear. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. You really are an eternal optimist, Mulani. You always find a way to cheer people up. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. I learned a few things you should know. You share the captain's intel. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow, the Captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. It's probably because our plan is so risky. We don't even know if the six heroes will reunite in time. We talked to Malika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. But she also doesn't want to burn the memories. When it comes to Natland's survival, for the there's no way she would hold back. For the Gnosis. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the cost and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Life is important, but so are history and memory. I'm on Moika's side too. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seems like she wasn't holding anything back this time. The next question is, if the Captain found a new way to save Natlan, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Yeah, and isn't he from Sneshnaya? Why would the Fadui want to save Natlan? That's also what I was thinking. Uh, Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Let's head back then. Moika said her intelligence officer should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. Want to join our garrison, Milani? I was just about to ask. Count me in. <sighs> if I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. <sighs> it's all a chain reaction. Then you should go register right away. It shouldn't take long. Everybody's looking for people. Register? <laughs> nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, go where you go, do what you do. Um, okay. But then, you have to follow my orders. <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. Alright. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! But are there other, are the other places still being attacked by the abyss? 
I didn't expect Kachina to save us. She Why is she talking about it? Of course, I think mean she already won the pilgrimage. Oh yeah, I'd like to hear what these people. Wait, are these sumo people? Can I? Oh, I can't read their minds. <laughs> That's sad. I didn't expect. Oh, not these <laughs> people. <laughs> Making Mora isn't easy. None of the other guys who won this route mentioned anything like this. Those are the people that we rescued. Who knew this would be waiting for us on the other side of the desert? Right? Just when I thought this was going to be an uneventful trip. And these other people? This is the chief. Thanks for the help. I'll take them back to the tribe. Thank you so much for lending us a hand. I'm so glad no one got hurt. That's cool how they all talk about it. Is this usually here? This is quite a safety hazard. I guess there is a sign there, but there's, there should also be like a fence along here. I guess there's not really fences along any of it. Okay, where am I going now? I'm going to the speaker's chamber? What are they talking about in here? To worry. Is she hurt? They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. The Fatui? The Fatui wounded. Wait, how do you say it? Marika! Oh, Chaska and Kuichi are here! Wait! Ku. The Fatui wounded Kuichi? Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. I didn't want to say it wrong. Am I gonna get to play as them? I know, probably not, because they haven't come out as playable characters yet. Watch out! It's the Patui. These, these are the abyss things Were they that they're fighting. By the abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. Do you see? You're right. That's a traveling group from that land. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Why the f do you helping them? So much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. 
If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Oh, okay. We can do that. <laughs> but... We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Why are they helping them, though? Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. G got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. But what if the Fatui... I don't know. I was thinking maybe the captain is from Natlan, maybe. Which is why he's wanting to protect it. And he's sent these people to help the people of Natlan, maybe. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. So this is where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily guarded on all sides. Is this the signs of canopy? Koichi, wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh no you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. Don't you get a plaza? We still can't see anything on the inside. I want a plaza. Cover. You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Ah, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway, so let me come with you. That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. <sighs> you really believe that? Fine, don't believe me. But you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. You know, growing up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. Ugh, all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Are they both going then? Ah, <laughs> guess that means I win. Don't worry, you're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. All right. Same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play as her. That's quite a funny sneak. The Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal.
now. Go. I was playing this music. This is the stealthing music. Not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. I need to act. Well, well uh, jump down. There's a time limit. <laughs> Good. I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fatui. Kuichi should have line of sight. I'll wait for her signal. Oh, she's got a telescope. Well, that's cool. I kind of want one of these. That's it. Now's my chance. Quickly approach the area underneath the platform. That's first person. It's no use staying in one place. I should keep moving. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. If that person just looked down, though, then they'd be able to see her. Time to move. Go. Oh, did she hear that? I was close. Almost got caught. Probably can't make it over in one go. I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance! She's very good at <laughs> climbing up trees. That'll show my sister! How does she climb up trees that easily? Let's see... The Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow... Wait! I've got it! Wait, what is that thing? Toss out the mysterious fear. No, oh, the capybaras. Oh no. Huh? What's that noise? They Did just something can... explode? Oh, it stinks! Is it? Tainari's thing. <laughs> what the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? I could ask you the same thing. Good, oh, they're yeah. arguing. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. The people Poor are the are enough to help their comrades. This is our chance. Come get me, Chaska. I hope she gets this hand signal. That's Koichi's signal. <laughs> Smart idea. Alright, time to move. Why are the clouds moving like this? Give me your hand, quick. And this way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. Have all the Fatui just gone down there? To argue with the, that tribe? What's that thing? Well, I was pretty helpful, right? You know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. <laughs> I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, you're just gonna admit it? Now I look like the mean one. Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. 
more time we waste, the more dangerous this becomes. All right, all right. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. Looks like the Fatili are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from Natland don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fatui's target? Maybe they can figure out how to use it. Since I'm quite small. Mm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our Lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on, let's get this thing back. Yanovsky. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course. We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. <gasps> what was that sound? Oh, have they noticed us? <laughs> We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadgets! Oh. Why did she just reveal herself? <laughs> around his Cheska. Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They'd collected several identical pieces of something. It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. So, Kuichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. <sighs> I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I've prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> Guess that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything, Archon. We were just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Huichi home now. I want to learn more about this. <laughs> well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite source crackers, then... Uh, I accept. Thank you, Archon. She wants the Archon's serene crackers. What am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Yummy snacks! What's happening now? Farewell to Jessica and Kuichi. Oh yeah, I guess I'll go the way it says.
Wait, where are they? Well, they're... Back here. Wait, I could just... Okay, I went the long way around, I guess. That's fine. I'm taking Koichi home, with our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. Hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the Abyss attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not gonna rush out the minute you hear the alarm? So the Fatui, the Fatui might want to I won't. attack you now. Triple promise, I won't. The Fatui might want to attack them now since I've mm -hmm. provoked them. Fine. On the off chance something like that were to happen, I might. But I'm a doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. We need you, so you need to look after yourself too. I guess you're right, but I don't have to like it. <laughs> this reminds Paimon of when we first met, except you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. I'd do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. Then try to see things from my perspective. You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? The two of you are the same, you know? <laughs> I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. I don't think you do. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong. I think they actually are quite similar. <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight. Just pretend Paimon never said anything. Don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. Plus, I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking, but I learned that from her. We're family. I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. Okay, you don't have to put it that way. Yeah, it is. Chesk's so, fault. Good now? This is pretty normal for them. Neither of us are really the type to back down. So we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. Be my guest. Come on, let's get you home. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. There's no rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. See you later. Bye, you two. Take care of yourselves out there. I can't like those characters. <laughs> Probably not. You and Paimon try to analyze the captain's goal. You feel like... Earth footsteps? It's Saint Lally again. What did it say? You and Paimon try to analyze the captain's goal. You feel like you're just one step away from the answer. Saint Lally? Uh, ahem. Uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere. Again. <laughs> Why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Oh, and I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. I'll treat you to some charcoal grilled steak to make up for it. Awesome! Just give us your orders! Hey, friends don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. 
Remember what we talked about before parting ways? Oh, yeah. You mentioned how Auroron has always wanted to save Natland, and something about his soul being fragmented. Paimon and the Traveler discussed it after you left, and we think Auroron is probably back with the Captain. What do you think? I agree with your hypothesis. And just now, I confirmed it myself. So she actually found him? Auroron came back. He helped the Masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. Oh, well, that's... that's good. What? He came back? Is it? I think that's good. Did he say anything? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to Natlan as a whole. I'm not surprised you let him go at all. I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but... It never came. Ugh. All these years of calling me Granny. And I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Don't say that! Your tribe all raised him together, right? That couldn't have been easy. <sighs> Why is she always blaming herself? You're right. Seeing him come back reminded me of when he was little. Running around the tribe. Dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the Masters of the Nightwind, but a child of Natlan. It's only natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Besides, Auroron is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. Wait, what are you saying? Look. What's this? Remember how I said Auroron's is soul this? is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable. Wait, is this a fragment of Auroron? And this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Auroron is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and asked Aoife to bring it to him. You guys know Aoife, right? No? Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and he happens to be very good friends with Auroron. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so he agreed, no questions asked. Auroron would find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. He probably suspected that I tampered with it, but here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem, which he no longer needed. Is she gonna spy on him then? That's amazing. You can do something like that? Is he gonna look at his old memories? Uh, most people can't, but I can. That trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. So in other words, we have a whole backup of Auroron's memories in this gem! <laughs> the kid thinks he can take me on? Like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows? That's amazing, Seat Lolly! Let's take a look right away! Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh. I know work? he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? You can be honest. But well, we're doing it for uh, Natlan, so. Paimon doesn't have a grandma, so she's not the best person to ask. It's possible. Families disagree sometimes. But as his family, you have to do this. But to be honest. I've always doubted my ability to look after him. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago. And now, 
I'm useless again. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. It's 500 years again. 500 years is used a lot in Genshin Impact. And then start crying. And then start freaking out. Yeah, you're right. First anger, then tears. Oh, wait! Who are you calling a crybaby? No, I didn't say that. First, traveler. <sighs> I need to look at his memory. Even if he resents me, refuses to see me, or runs away for good. I don't care, and I won't blame him. A family does whatever it takes to protect their own. You sure you'll be okay? We can come with you if you want. Did you just say you'll come with me? Is yeah. that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Because, uh, right, we need leads on the Fatui. Paimon's right, we should be there. You really mean it? Oh, fine, you can come. Just promise me you'll see this through. No backing out, got it? Don't worry, we're professional adventurers! Ah, well, then I place my trust in your professionalism. Alright, time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some... Uh... Unwanted spying. That doesn't sound very... <clears throat> good. Uh, you heard it here first. I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm ready. What's happening? Is that she gonna take us somewhere? Well, he actually has a good you're doing. vegetable garden. Grow into nice big radishes in the future. And you, Eva says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? Hey, how's it going, Auroron? Good. How are you, Uncle Okanbi? I call him an uncle as yeah, well. Can't complain. What you up to? Naming your vegetables again? No, just some idle conversation. With the vegetables. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. What did they say? They told me you were coming and that you would take some produce with you. <laughs> Only if you're offering. By the way, I ran into Aoife yesterday. He told me Chaska's fostering a Saurian at his place. Said the thing trampled over a part of your radish garden. I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. No, don't worry. I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. I've already wrapped your share of the produce. Here you go. You really knew I was coming. That's pretty amazing. Do the vegetables actually tell them the future? Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadows. That's what everyone says. Hey, have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? Appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. It's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all elite warriors. It seems like they're looking for someone, but I wouldn't go around asking too many questions. If you run into them, be careful. Oh, he's here. You're the masters of the Nightwind, are you not? Why do you live here alone? I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. Is this when Aurora first met Capitano? I guess you're from the Fatui. The one everyone's calling a big deal. Not an inaccurate description. I'm looking for someone who may be known to you. Sitalali is her name. Granny? 
What does an outlander want with her? I've heard the name. You have business with her? <sighs> There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding things from me. I shall seek answers elsewhere. Oh, you could tell I was lying, and now he's leaving? He gave up just like that? Hey! At least tell me why you're looking for Sidlali. It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Is that... Why are the two looking for her? No, Ellie. What does she have to do with them? Join them then? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what they're planning. Wait, so did he join them to try and figure out what the Fatui are doing? What are what they're planning? They've just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny. I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. My lord! I saw him. Hmm? Ignore him. He is no threat. Oh, he's already seen him. He knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. He's strong, I can tell. But there's something unusual about him, and also familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Ugh. Wait, what's happening to him? What is it? My lord, I... I feel dizzy. A ley line disturbance. Certain presences have been forced to wander outside the rightful realm. <sighs> What's he doing? <gasps> that was a spell from the Masters of the Nightwind. How did he know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? Wait, is... is he from the Masters of the Night Wind? How did he do that so easily? Soul faring is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Ah, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. That wouldn't mean he is from that land. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant and continue to gather information. The Abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, there is no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui fighting against the Abyss? Do they really mean us no harm? You might actually learn quite a bit from this. Was oh, at the end of the memories? Wait, no. Never mind, it's not. Wait, is this when he's going to fight? I've been following him this whole time. The Pyrocon. Do they really not care? Is this just as he was about to fight the Pyrocon? It seems like his subordinates referred to him as the captain. I've never heard of him before. More weaker. And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? You two, with me. Everyone else, wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Yes, sir. He's going inside, but the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? The time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. This nation is out of time. Yes, sir. He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? 
Yes, this is when he's fighting. Wait, but this is. So this is before Avon started helping Capitano. So why did he help him escape here They're then? Incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? This is. Wait, this feeling. Just like the other day near the ley lines. It's faint. Like a soul's trying to escape. Where is it coming from? Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. I can't let that happen. Oh, so that's why he saved him? As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. Ah, <sighs> you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? Is this the scene that they had at the... End of Act Two. I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something. Oh yes, it is. Didn't you? It is that scene. <coughs> oh. No need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, it is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and bite. And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. Hmm. <laughs> then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. <sighs> I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. <sighs> can she really save us? Wait, well, I just noticed. I, I only just noticed that he has like a animal ear here. For a long time I thought that was just part of his hair or something. I don't know why that took me so long to notice that. The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So, I felt like I had to help you. Why does he only have one though? <sighs> so, you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. So, we're in the same boat. You seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. It's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. Sitlali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Yet, you chose otherwise. Do I really need to tell you what that means? I want to do something to change Natlin for the better. Something I can accomplish with my own two hands. You're 
stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Strange. <laughs> that seems kind of like an insult. Cecil Alley is said to be the legendary Granny Eastley, someone capable of communicating with the Wyub. And the Wyub are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul, a sense of justice. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. So that's how he... That's why he's helping him then. I see. Interesting approach. Worth trying, I think. It's interesting how his whole face is completely black. But you can see the you can see the mouth and the nose and stuff. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem by reconstructing the ley lines themselves. Why did I just spawn there? <laughs> okay, that's the end of the memories. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Traveler, Paimon. Are you two alright? Uh, Paimon's fine, just, um, <laughs> a little dizzy. I'm fine. Are you okay, Seat Lily? Of course. She's probably done this a lot. I'm just... Oh, I'm so mad at him! Oh, she's... got fire oh, coming out of her. After everything, he still can't let go of the past. I can kind of understand how he feels. For some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. <laughs> Stubborn, self-righteous fool. Where's that gonna get him? Now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do? He thinks he can just run away whenever he wants. <sighs> I'll show him. If he tries to run one more time, he's got another thing coming. Maybe stubbornness runs in the family! Like grandmother, like grandson, as they say! Oh, she's gonna get angry at that. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Huh! That kid's got nothing on me. <sighs> anyway... Back to what we just saw... I don't even know what to make of it. Yeah, the captain seriously wants to... Reconstruct the ley lines? What does that mean? What does that even mean? Something oh. like the loom of fate, maybe? But how does it help with the abyss? Let's talk about the loom of fate. The loom of fate? Oh, I... It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a device from Conrio that has unbelievable power. Anyway... If he really wants to manipulate the ley lines, everyone in that land will be affected. Oh, this is big. He's serious. It lines up with everything he said before. He tried to seize the Gnosis for the same purpose. Which means... the captain has been honest from the very beginning. Auroron's memory proves that. Why is he so obsessed with saving that land? 
Oh, we've got to tell Malika about this right away. Yes. She needs to know about this. Now. Okay, let's go. Well, that's the end of the Act 3. Beyond the smoke and mirrors. It's been really interesting so far. I'm really curious as to <laughs> what Capitano is actually doing and why he's doing it. this next act. Act 4 is the final act. Beyond the Smoke and Mirrors. Complete Beyond the Smoke and Mirrors. I'm just gonna go and and my commissions now. Add Astra. Thank you for com. And I might be. I might do the event in the next episode. Because now's probably a good. Time to do it. As she does say, it recommends doing Act 4 of the Archon Quest first. I don't know if I'll have enough time to finish it before this goes away though. Oh yeah, I get the I forgot that you get the stuff for the, doing the Archon Quest. It's been quite a while since I've done this. Since the new Archon Quest has come out. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. And. If you want to see more Genshin videos or any other games such as Star Rail, then you may want to watch my some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.